face weather this week is switching gears a little bit. We do still have the potential for solar storms, but now we're taking a look at big flare players that have entered center stage. As we take a look at the Earth-facing disk, you can see back on the 8th, pow, right there, that was a big M-class flare from region 3053. It also launched a solar storm. And then just a few l moments later, pow, right there, that was region 3047 firing off yet another near M-class flare. And this region actually launched a radiation storm that we're still kind of dealing with the effects from right now. But things are beginning to calm down and it looks like the risk for more radiation storms is at least relaxing, maybe for the next two or three days at least. But me Meanwhile, when we take a look at that solar storm that Region 3053 launched, it is moving to the east of us. It doesn't look like it's going to hit Earth. It's going to be kind of a sideswipe, so we doubt we're going to see all that much, but we could get more. The reason why is because we've got multiple big flare players, and that means we could get solar storm launches. Region Both Region 3053 and 3055 are X flare players. NOAA's giving us about a 10% chance right now of X flares, and this could last easily over this next week. Now, as we switch to our far-sighted sun, this is Stereo A, and it's looking at the sun just a little bit from the side. You can see both in the north and in the south, we've got lots of activity. There's been a lot more uh, active regions that have been emerging. In fact, when you take a look back on the 8th or 9th, we've got a new uh, region down in the south. This is going to be region 3056, and you can see it launch this massive solar storm on the 8th, and that region means that we could be definitely seeing big flares from it as well as potential for more solar storms that could be earth directed also in the north we do have more activity so this does mean that these big flare players and solar flux is going to continue to be boosted easily over this next week and likely the chance for big flares is going to remain a possibility for more details on this week's space weather including how these big flare players and this radiation storm might affect you Come check out my channel or see me at spaceweatherwoman.com.